All right, guys, welcome. Uh, this is Beyond the Scale. We're going to do some uh, in the pits, some RC tips and uh, things I do just to uh, reuse some things or just simple things that you might throw out that maybe you could use. So, first one here is old sponge, or you have a sponge laying around you don't need. You have a dirty soldering iron that you just got done using. Uh, go ahead and get the sponge wet. Instead of throwing out that sponge, you were able to basically recycle it as a way to clean your soldering iron. Alright guys, so the next tip here, uh, a lot of people when they change out their end plugs, either male or female, whatever, it fits on the ESC or the battery. Um, a lot of people will just throw this stuff away when in fact you never know if you might need it down the road or if you have a couple buddies that are in the hobby as well friends they might run this type of plug and you know always uh, pass that along to them but I hang on to them because I feel like at some point you never know if you're going to uh, decide to make the switch or you have enough of them to where you start running them on a certain vehicle maybe so, um, good little tip to have, I thought. So, this one, I think is off of, uh, Tamiya, maybe. I don't know. So, again, you never know when you need them, so keep a hold of them. Alright guys, another uh, tip is uh, storage. You know, some people will use old tackle boxes, old toolboxes, um, I think I picked this one up from Lowe's, just assortment of screws and washers, nuts, spacers. I think it was like five bucks or something. Very, pretty cheap. Um, this one, I think it was an old uh, assorted set of nails, like finished nails. And eventually when I used them all, I decided to recycle this and that holds clips, body mounts, stuff of that nature. These, I have a few of these, um, I think they were at the dollar store, so three bucks, I had three different ones of these, and they hold the connections, other wires, so, um, especially the dollar store, great place to go, but if you're looking for more nuts and bolts type of stuff, you might have to go to, like, a hardware store, but easy way to organize your stuff instead of having it just everywhere and you're trying to dig for screws or allen heads whatever you're looking for so that's just a another quick cheap trick you can uh go ahead and use especially uh just to organize your rc space all right guys so this tip's gonna be odd but i know um a lot of times with the exacto blades you buy they don't really come with a case um at least mine didn't have the cap on it, but uh, at some point lost the cap. And um, bought a new razor. I was going to go ahead and pitch this, and I think the orange popped in my head with the orange on this handle. And uh, they wanted that would fit for the uh, blade, and voila. So if you have exacto knife and it happens to uh, fit into an old... Uh, Razor container. There you go. Now you have a place to safely store your blade so it's not rolling around or getting dull because this keeps it elevated. And um, again, just recycling. Go ahead and paint it if you want. If you don't like the name Gillette or whatever brand you're using. Alright, guys, so just to uh, kind of go over the last little uh, tip I have for anybody newer to the hobby or maybe you just uh, kind of throw your bodies away um, this is what I like to do if it's a body I don't have a kind of repeat of um, I, although I'm not using the particular body at the time and it's just kind of sitting collecting dust I will keep them just in case I get a you know maybe a new release on a vehicle that comes out and actually pick it up eventually maybe the truck looks 
uh, the size of the uh, say axial maybe it looks the size of another truck but you're not sure if the body um, that axial makes or maybe pro line if it'll actually fit that chassis properly so I like to keep bodies around just to test fit so that way if I do purchase the body I know well ahead of time I'm not going to be picking up something that's way too big that doesn't look right or it's way too small like you know a 112 scale like this one so if you guys are wondering uh, why the Brutus body is here you guys do know the freestyle it had was the last one as it says in the video so there will be a new body coming for that truck soon I'm just trying to figure out which one and uh, I'll be showing you that truck as well but this is a tips video real quick uh, another one I had done was I made a couple fiberglass bodies um, this was with a Parma Gravedigger 1.8 scale and this was a 1.8 scale HPI body Chevy and although I went ahead and made the fiberglass bodies I kept these because again down the road you know I don't have many Parma bodies lying around so having this one I can go ahead and mock it up onto say uh, like the Axio SMT10 for example the Max-D I have um, wasn't sure if it could hold uh, the 110 scale or 18 scale Parma Gravedigger bodies so now that you know don't necessarily have to keep this one specifically just because I do have a fiberglass one still but that one I could still cut up and kind of modify if I wanted to if I'm looking for a certain look but I can take this one plop it on the uh, axial chassis base and go ahead and see if this will actually fit on there and if it does I won't waste my forty dollars on getting the body and being disappointed same for the HPI did a fiberglass body with it it's uh, unusable as an actual Lexan body now but I can use this mock it up see how it looks on a vehicle that I have and decide from there if I want to purchase it or if it's subscribe if you have not and hit that bell next to the subscribe button to be notified weekly of new videos um, thank you to the current subscribers as well for supporting the channel if you want there'll be a uh, shop link in the description below beyond the scale Etsy shop sells t-shirts you can pick those up for yourself or for a friend family member for a gift $19.99 free shipping pretty nice shirts soft currently only small medium large and extra large and I think there's six designs on there currently right now so please check that out and um, thank you for tuning in this is a uh, always a fun time hopefully uh, you guys can take something away from it and share it with somebody else if maybe they are asking you about it and this gives you an idea so I'll catch you guys next week and please uh, keep tuning in to be on the scale